This is Crystal Fenn with MedPage today here in Denver at the Heart Rhythm Society meeting where Dr. Jagmeet Singh of Massachusetts General Hospital reported an analysis from the MADIT CRT trial that suggested that where the leads are placed for cardiac resynchronization therapy may have a big impact on patient outcomes. This study was uniquely poised to be able to do that because it is the only study so far which has prospectively collected coronary venous angiograms, collected chest x-rays, PA and lateral views, and all the data prospectively at the time of the implantation so that we could subsequently assess the impact of the location in this huge cohort. So one of our hypotheses was that maybe apical lead implantation is not so good because you're not getting uh, all the benefits of resynchronization therapy because the apical lead is more closely located to the right ventricular lead and it can impact the resynchronization pattern. The response in this group with anterior lateral and posterior, if the lead was in the base of the mid ventricular position, their long-term outcomes was actually comparable. There was no difference. What we found, <coughs> which was the dramatic aspect of this study, and I think is really provocative, and it's gonna, I think, significantly impact clinical practice to some extent, is that <coughs> there was a huge difference between the apical lead placement non apical lead placement. So when the lead was pushed out far into the apex, that subgroup, which was about 110 patients against the 689 who had mid-ventricular and basal lead positions, uh, did a lot worse. So amongst the apical lead position, uh, uh, patients with the apical lead positions, 22% of them had a hard endpoint, be either death or heart failure. Whereas the ones with the non apical lead position, about 12% of those patients actually had a heart endpoint, that is death or heart failure hospitalization. So clearly, there was evidence that there was a 1.6 fold increase in the risk for heart failure events or death if the lead was located in the apex. These results should have an impact on clinical practice, according to Singh. The most important thing is that we now know that the apical lead spot, apical position is not good, so when you're putting a left ventricular lead in, if you excuse me, like to enhance response in the CRT patients, then trying to avoid the apical region may be a good thing. That's number one. Number two, there are many patients who are already non-responders to CRT. Maybe we should look at those patients, look at, I'm not in the mated CRT group per se, but as a whole, looking at this data, if there are patients who are non-responders, if their leads are in the apical, in the apical area, then maybe we need to revisit where the lead was and give them a chance with another position to enhance response. This is a little speculative, but I think it gives us some direction. So the apical position for left ventricular lead wires may compromise patient outcomes, but there appear to be plenty of other good options for placement. Here in Denver at the Heart Rhythm Society meeting, I'm Crystal Fend, MedPage Today.